And so, at precisely 11 minutes past eight in the morning, the race began. Hey, kids. Look at them. They look like ramblers. We now had 25 minutes to get into town, find the station, and catch our first train. Those two have got so many different connections to make, so many different forms of transport to go on. The chances of them making it without making a single mistake are nil. And if they do make a mistake, that's it. You seen these manhole covers? No. They're fantastic. A boy from Birmingham and a man with no sense of direction in Japan won't win. The end. Uh, there we go. Well, wow. what? You don't know what Whenever that says. Whenever there's a red dot, I think that must mean you are here. Look, the ice skating man with the picnic table. Yeah, but that's a man on skis playing a harp next to it, which probably doesn't mean trade safe. I want to adjust the scale on the sat nav, but it's all in Japanese. And I don't touch it in case it all just goes off, and then I'd be doomed! Konnichiwa. Um, the station. <laughs> The thing is, you see, all Japanese cars... Help! To deal with the language problems, we'd all been given speaking translator machines. And at the station, we fired ours up. What did you ask me? Just say, here. Ticket. This isn't going to take long. He knows you want a ticket. It's a ticket office. That's a good point, He's actually. He's not going to assume you're asking for shoes. So that's wrong. That was, is this seat taken? How do I go back? I've forgotten. It can't be difficult. Sorry. Now, the road has opened up. Here we go. Don't try and match the symbols. I know you are. A 3.8 litre twin turbocharged V6 engine which produces. Actually, I have no idea how much horsepower because each one is handmade. This would say it's around 470 brake horsepower, but an American magazine tested the one they had and it was producing 507 horsepower. <clears throat> Morning. It's like being in a black and white film. Morning. But the best thing about it is, is that each gearbox is tailored to work with a specific engine. This one wouldn't work in any other GTR. Not even NASA do that with a space shuttle. They're not just hanging around on this platform. Because, look, there's a line. You have to walk through the lines onto the train. What a brilliant-looking train. OK, here we go. The motorway network. Now we can be a bullet car. The Datsun would cross Japan by motorway, go through the center of Tokyo, under Tokyo Bay, and up a mountain road to the finish line. We would take four trains and a bus to the bay, cross it on a ferry, and then get to the finish on a cable car. Our route was almost 150 miles longer, but we would have no jams or delays. 87% of normal trains in Japan are on time. But for them, being late is anything over a minute behind time. So that's a late train if it's a minute. But in the UK, to be late, it's got to be over 10 minutes late. And if trains are late, you get a free rail journey. So if this is late, we don't pay, and we get a little pass that explains to your employer why you're late. <laughs> He's had it. There are a lot of uh, speed cameras on the motorways, but they put signs up saying it's in 300 metres, 200 metres, 100 metres, there it is. The only trouble is the signs are all in Japanese. However, I'd come up with a cunning plan. In Japan, a simple photograph of the number plate isn't enough. They have to also have a photograph of the face. They have to know who was driving. So what I've done is I've made this. It's a billoddy face mask. 
So he's going to be sitting in a badger hole somewhere and he's going to be collecting points in Japan on his license. Hammond. Yes. Is your, was your train late? Right. No, nothing late. Never, for the second on time, you've had it. We're going. We're on the way. We're being shouted at. Hang on, mate. There's a man shouting at me. What? Oh, mate, I've got to go, I've got to go. I like it when there's an emergency like that in his voice. Got to go, got to go. It means something's gone wrong in his world. I think it might be rude to use the telephone in the train. Unable to talk to my rivals, I started to fiddle with the GTR's buttons. All the graphics on this system were done by the same company that does the graphics for the um, Gran Turismo PlayStation game. This is amazing. It's engine oil temperature, water temperature, engine oil pressure. Boost! And that one gives me my acceleration and braking in G. Steering G, there it is. I can't understand the answer. No, exactly, it's pointless. That's the problem. Two fried eggs, that's not what I want. I do that. Oh, yeah, that was. Yeah, sorry, officer, I was trying to get half a G while changing lane. Speed camera coming up. There we are. As James and Richard trundled towards Kyoto, I was hurtling up the west coast of Japan. All bullseye. That's def I'm definitely in Switzerland. I've gone wrong. Somehow I've gone through North Korea, Russia, Poland, Germany, and I'm in Switzerland. How have I done that? The mountains were staggering, but sadly I couldn't look because the Japanese had tunneled through every single one of them. I'm out of the tunnel. I can't... Sunlight! It's gone again. Two hours into the race, and our train, banged on time, was already two-thirds of the way to Kyoto. For Jeremy, however, things weren't going so smoothly. Hello? Oh, get out of the way, man! Come on! Come on! 